to tonight's top story. The government seeks to make money laundering a standalone offense. The Minister of Finance, Larry Hawaii, presented the proposed amendments in the Senate today. The bill is titled the Miscellaneous Provisions Proceeds of Crime, Anti-Terrorism, Financial Intelligence Unit of Trinidad and Tobago Bill 2014. Minister Hawaii said this is a critical piece of legislation that would allow for the prosecution of someone who doesn't have a paper trail to prove how they acquired their luxury assets. This bill would also help Trinidad and Tobago to comply with the international standards set by the Financial Action Task Force to combat the financing of crime and terrorism. Melissa Dasrath filed this report. Gangsters, drug lords, terrorists and transnational criminals take the proceeds of crime and convert it into assets to make their activities appear legitimate. And they lead opulent lifestyles. The Minister of Finance and the Economy, Larry Hawaii, says by making money laundering an offence, the government is taking the profit out of crime. These amendments seek to make money laundering a standalone offence. Under the Miscellaneous Provisions Bill, three acts will be amended. The Proceeds of Crime Act, Anti-Terrorism Act and the Financial Intelligence Unit Act. The minister said this bill delinks money laundering from other crimes because criminals rarely leave a paper trail of their lavish purchases. Criminals will be forced to forfeit their posh homes and luxury cars. The forfeiture orders under Section 39, where a magistrate can order that a sum of cash previously seized is forfeited, where the magistrate is satisfied that the cash directly or indirectly represents uh, the proceeds of a specified offence or are intended to be used for the commission of a specified offence. But if wrongfully accused, there is a clause which deals with compensation of seized assets. His cash was wrongfully detained and he could have invested it and he lost interest and so on and the court agrees with him and the court says we must pay him back his interest. That um, in that case we take from the seized assets fund but if the seized assets fund doesn't have sufficient, it's down to some number that we can't pay him back his interest, then we can take the, the proceeds out of the consolidated fund if there's a shortfall. After the finance minister's presentation, the Speaker opened the floor for debate in the Upper House. But Minister Hawaii is certain that this bill will hit the criminals where it hurts the most, their pockets. Melissa Dasroth, 